Hello everyone, time for an update on the 3D printed RC truck. I've been working on a fourth version on and off for a very long time now. In fact, ever since I released the third version. What I wanted to achieve with this new version was a 6x6 drivetrain, quieter running and a better off-road ability. One major design change to make this possible are the axles themselves. To be able to fit the two rear axles so close to each other, with a telescopic driveshaft between them, I opted to remove the differential and they all act like locked axles now. This was necessary as the old axles were both too tall and too long. Since this version will mainly be meant for slow crawling, this is not a problem and makes for a more durable axle. I can also run a smaller bevel gear inside the axle since it doesn't need to contain the differential gears inside it. This gives you a much better ground clearance between the wheels. One downside with this new design is that it's a slightly weaker construction with only one bearing on the pinion gears. This shows up as the U joint wobbling slightly once the parts start getting worn. It's a worth the sacrifice though since it makes the axles a lot more compact. All three axles now use a 3 link with a panhard bar. With the slower top speed I'm not as concerned with perfect suspension geometry and this lets them flex pretty good. The next part was looking over the linkages and their mounting points on the chassis. As you can see on this comparison, I've raised it way up to get more ground clearance. Hopefully this fixes the problem the third version had with always getting stuck on the mounting brackets. This also means I relocated the mounting points for the axles as well. They are now at the same height as the middle of the axle, which again helps with ground clearance as the third version tended to get stuck if you had any kind of obstacle between the wheels. I have also reworked all the drive shafts and U joints to simplify the geometry and hopefully make them easier to print strong. I have not done extensive testing on these as I just recently got this thing running right, but they feel promising. Another thing I wanted to fix was the fact that the old truck had a loud screeching noise from all the imperfect plastic gears needed for a high gearbox ratio. As you can hear, it's anything but pleasant and made this an absolute pain to drive indoors. The motor is now a small brush DC motor with an integrated gearbox. This cuts down on the noise and is now really quiet when driving around. With the lower gearing it becomes much easier to control the amount of power and it's super easy to do slow crawling with it. I do wish it had a little bit more power for when you want to charge an obstacle. It's a 12 volt motor which I'm running on an 11 volt LiPo so it's possible that it's just not getting the voltage it wants. We'll see if I keep the setup or change to something else. Maybe the motor is replaceable and I could throw on a more powerful one. The frame has had minor design changes since it now needs to be longer. It's now split into three pieces and should be easy to print on any printer with 20 centimeters in X or Y. Besides that, the biggest change is that I finally made a screw and nut connection between the axles and frame. I found that these often stripped out and replacing the frame was always a pain when you had a lot of stuff attached to it. I've also gone ahead and changed all the suspension stuff to real RC shocks. They're super cheap on eBay and gives a much better ride than printed springs. With the separate shock mounts it's easy to adjust to accommodate different ride heights and shock combinations without doing major reprints. There's still a lot of work left to make this as good as I wanted, but I would say I'm off to a good start. In its current state, this thing is perfectly drivable, so I have decided to release it as a standalone RC vehicle. I have uploaded the files to Thingiverse for those interested in that kind of stuff. Also available are the CAD files for the chassis itself. This should make it easier to make custom add-ons for it. Thanks for watching, and if you wish to help support these projects, please check out the Gearbus links in my description. If you have any unanswered questions, just let me know in the comment section and I will try to help out.